Hello you guys. So I'm going to show you what I got from Lush today. So I got this package here from Lush and it has some um, bubble bars and new stuff and and more shower gels. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through this really quickly. I actually yesterday I got four five. Yesterday I got five packages from different orders from different companies all come at the same time <laughs> so I've got to get I've got to make four or five different videos so that's why I'm gonna go through the videos and not spend a whole lot of time on each video but I am going to tell you what I think of these products here to start with so I thought I'd do the Lush one first as far as as far as the shower gels if some of you haven't seen my other videos on the shower gels I have actually done two maybe even three videos already here on my YouTube channel about all of the new shower gels what I think of them the reviews descriptions and and everything like that so I'll put the link to those down below if you want to know my opinion and description and review of all of the shower gels but so now I'll just briefly go over each one okay so here's Kalakas Kalaka shower gel and I got two different uh, I got two I love that color you can see one's more sort of yellow green and one's more sort of like iridescent green and so they both say the same thing who says you need to be alive to be the life and soul of the party Reviving lime oil lathers will coax your senses back into the mortal realm. So. Mm. A lot of frankincense in this one. Hmm. Oddly, they're different strengths. Uh, this one smells a lot of frankincense and lime, and this one smells more like just sort of lemon lime. So, um, but I would rate these particular Kalakas a three and a half out of five rating. Um, I've had Kalakas that were a little bit stronger than this one right here. This one right here, I would give like like a three out of five rating. And this one right here that I got from a different batch, I would rate a four out of five rating. One doesn't have any frankincense in it, it seems like. It's just sort of a lemon, really, really light, very light, lemony sort of scent. And the other one is um, very frankincense. I have frankincense and lemon. And you have to use it. A lot of people are like opening it up and, and then going, hmm, it just smells lemony. I don't get it. <laughs> you have to use it because the essential oils, the fragrance in it sort of come out when you use it more. The perfume part of it, it's hard to get a sense, especially with Kalakas, because Kalakas has that frankincense in it, which distributes and gets really sort of more perfumey when you wash with it versus in the bottle. So I suggest you use it first before you make up your mind about Kalakas. That said, I have tried stronger uh, scented Kalaka shower gels from Lush in, in the past. So um, that one's a three, this one's a four, because they came from different batches and they have different strengths. The American Cream. Now, in my in my video where uh, in my first video I did of the shower gels, I told you that uh, Kalakas is a five out of five for me, and that's true. Um, the Kalakas shower gels that I've had uh, have all been, you know, five star shower gels. These are real. This one especially is really weak. I can barely smell anything in it. That's why I give this one a three, and the other one a four because it's a little stronger, but it's still not as strong as the uh, ones I've had in in the past. And um, so I'm sorry. I, I know Lush doesn't like me to talk about the past, but I'm just saying. <laughs> 
and then American cream. Now this batch I got the was a lot more uh, pink than the first batch I got, which was uh, kind of a lighter shade of pink. And so this one, hmm, this one smells just like the shower gel, vanilla and herbs. <laughs> so it has clary sage. You won't be stranded at the drive-in after washing with sweet vanilla lathers topped with herbal clary sage. So you know that sage, when I light my sage to cleanse before I do psychic readings, that's sage. And that's what's in here. And also vanilla. And if there's strawberries and orange juice in here, but you don't smell the strawberries or the orange juice, okay? Those are just for skin toning properties like, you know, toning and clarifying properties. They don't actually make the fragrance. What makes the fragrance is the vanilla and the sage and the lavender. So it's vanilla and herbs. It smells like an herbal vanilla milkshake. That's what this smells like, an herbal vanilla milkshake, not strawberries. <laughs> so I would rate American Cream a three and a half out of five rating. I've never been really like all that woo about American cream, so that's why I give it like a three and a half out of five rating. And in my other videos that I mentioned, I, I wasn't like, I'm, I like American cream as a hair conditioner, but it's not like my favorite scent in the world. Um, and then here's avocado co-wash. And I got two more of these <laughs> because I can't get over this scent it's so yummy it smells this one is very very sweet and um, not at all tart like the first couple of batches and this one I can hardly smell at all I don't understand like let me ask I'm going to ask my daughter to smell these and see what she thinks. The, I'm going to ask her to smell the ones I got previously and then to smell these ones and see if she knows the difference. I'm not even going to tell her anything. Okay, <laughs> without telling my daughter anything, I had her smell both of these. These come from the same batch. It says B01. They're made on the same date. However, they're made by different people. And she said this one smells you know, like avocado co-wash. It smells regular. This one, she said, doesn't have any scent. So it's like way less scent than this one. But uh, the smell is quite uh, different. This is very strong. It smells like limes and, and sweet. This doesn't smell like limes. It's mostly just sweet. So quite a difference in the batches there. And so uh, quite a difference, even though it's the same batch, they were made by different people. One is thinner than the other. Now the avocado co-wash is the thickest shower gel of the bunch. Uh, all of the other shower gels that Lush made this last time are thinner than avocado co-wash and uh, some are thinner than others, but they're all about medium thin, you know, like five being the thickest, one being the thinnest. I would say all of these shower gels fall in the three category. So, um, so now I'm gonna move on to the bubble bars. Here are two new bath melts called Honey Drips. Honey Drips. Aren't they cute? They look like something fairies would make. <laughs> they look like little little, uh, little cones with some drip of, of yellow honey dripping down these pink cocoa butter cones. I almost didn't get these because I heard a rumor going around Instagram that they smelled like flying fox. Very funny. They don't smell like flying fox. I don't know where people get these things. It's not flying fox. It's the vanillary scent. The lush vanillary perfume scent. So, mm. Lush sells a perfume called vanillary and they sell other things and they have made other things in the past with the vanillary scent. The vanillary scents made with vanilla, tonka bean, which smells like vanilla, caramely vanilla, and a little bit of jasmine. And that's exactly what these smell like. I have a scent family 
uh, photo in which I took all the products that Lush has ever made with the vanilla scent, put them all together in a photo, and that's on my blog. So now I'll have to make another photo with these included. So if you like the vanilla scent, you'll like these. I am so glad I got these. And I think what people do sometimes is they look at the ingredients to find out what things smell like. I think they just look at the ingredients and then they might like look on Lush's search search thing, their search site and find other things with the same ingredients. And if they do, then they figure they smell alike. No, that's that's not that's not how you so do it. So just FYI there. So that's not how it works. So um so uh, let's see what else. So here are the bubble bars. So the first bubble bar I'm gonna show you is called the candy one. And these are all reusable bubble bars. All of these are different than the regular squishy type soft bubble bar that Lush makes that you squish in your hand underneath the falling water stream. These are all different, they're reusable, so they're harder. You don't squish them, you just hold them by the stick underneath the water stream falling from the bathtub faucet. And that action creates the bubbles down below. And so all of these are like that. And so this first one, the pink one, is called Candy, and it's made with the Candy Fluff scent. So it's got vanilla and synthetic musk. So if you like the Candy Fluff scent, uh, Lush has made powder and perfume and, um, uh, this right here called Candy Floss that they made at Oxford Street and various things uh, in the scent and it's very close to Snow Fairy in that same sort of genre of scents. It's sort of sweet and candy-like. I like it. So I would give this one, as far as scent anyway, I would give this one a 4 out of 5 rating. I like it, it smells kind of uh, lightly sweet and fruity. And then the yellow one is called Lemon, and this one has lemon and a little bit of maybe sweet orange oil, or it's very light smelling. It smells, it's not sweet, it almost smells like an herbal kind of a lemon. It's very, very light, very light. It doesn't smell like any other product I can think of. It doesn't smell like Cheer Up Buttercup. It doesn't smell like Brightside. It doesn't smell like You've Been Mangoed. It doesn't smell like Sunnyside. It doesn't smell like any of those products. It doesn't smell like Sexy Peel. It's very light, very, very, very light, but a really cool color. So I'll be demoing this one as well. And then this one is uh, my favorite so far. I actually got some psychic information about this particular bubble bar, uh, the name and the way it looks and everything. So when I saw a picture of it and the name of it, I was shocked. But uh, anyway, so it's gorgeous green and this one was made with lime and sweet orange oil. And this one smells stronger than the yellow one. I like it. I can't quite place, it doesn't smell like anything that Lush makes currently. It doesn't really smell like Cheer Up Buttercup. It doesn't smell like Bright Side. It kind of smells, it's it's less citrusy than Bright Side or, or, or um, Cheer Up Buttercup. It's less citrusy. It's sweeter, um, like sweet orange oil. I like it. I like the scent. And so this one is also a reusable bubble bar and you can apparently, you can supposedly blow bubbles through it when it's wet and uh, you're using it, you can blow through the hole and bubbles will come out of it. So I can't wait to demo that at the tub for you soon. I'll be making a video of that and uploading it here to my YouTube channel and my blog soon. And then this one, this is another bubble bar. This is a bubble spinner, another bubble spinner from Lush. And it's a reusable bubble bar. You can use it more than once. All these bubble bars, you can use it more than once. This one is called Pentagrain Flower. And that's because it smells like Pentagrain. And um, Pentagrain is the bitter orange flower. And the key word is bitter. <laughs> this is a very bitter scent. Um, Ooh, I gave it to my husband and I asked him, I didn't tell him anything else except smell this and tell me what you smell like. 
and he said weird dirt <laughs> weird dirt is what it smelled like so this is very bitter um, so for those of you who remember a couple of Valentine's Day ago Lush introduced a bubble bar with its it was an emoticon emoticon it was bright yellow with a big smiley face and there were a lot of you that didn't really like that scent because of this certain note in it this is the certain note that was in it pedigree so if you didn't like that bubble bar you're definitely not gonna like this <laughs> sorry to say Lush but I, I will say this I don't like the scent but I have to give props to Lush because it's not a candy scent it's not a citrus scent it's something more natural a lot of people including myself have been asking Lush for more natural scents and I think that they did that with this bubble bar I don't like it <laughs> I don't like the smell but I have to give it to them for at least listening and making something sort of out of their comfort zone. So um, that is Pettigrain Flower. I'll do a demo and review of this one too on a separate video. And then there's a blue one, a blue paintbrush, and that one has a mint and orange oil scent. And it doesn't really smell exactly like Christingle. Um, nor does it smell quite like Outback. It's less minty than those. It's, uh, and it has orange oil along with the mint. So that's what the uh, blue one, the blue bubble bar paintbrush smells like. So my favorite, favorite things in this box are the vanilla -y scented honey drip bath melt and the I'm forever blowing bubbles bubble bar these two smell the best out of everything in the box and this one is a close second and the shower gels are um, for some reason the shower gels are um, less scented uh, this uh, depending on the batch or who makes or who makes them so just know that and so if you have any questions about any of these products, go ahead and comment down below and I'll answer as soon as I can. If this was helpful to you or you enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new Lush video. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye bye you guys.